Hey guys, I hope you had a great weekend. Welcome back to class for remote learning Monday 928. First, I want to say that I looked at a bunch of you guys' uh, mass submissions. You guys did a great job. I'm really proud. You guys really went above and beyond on a lot of these. So awesome. Super proud of you guys. This is our last week of geography for the section. So Friday is going to be our map quiz. So today we're going to be doing a short reading introduction, introducing more of the geography. And then uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to be doing our notes and then review Thursday, quiz Friday. I wanted to do the quiz on Friday so that we don't have a lot of homework or you don't have a lot of homework going into the long weekend because uh, October 5th, which would be next Monday, is supposed to be our fall break. So I wanted to make sure that you guys didn't have a lot of stuff to be worrying about and thinking about while you weren't here. So with all that getting started, let's go ahead and get started with. So like I said, today we are doing a short reading over South African geography. This is going to be our intro into the full focus geography week. We did some last week when we made our map, which we're going to use that map again when we start to study for our map quiz on Friday. But I wanted to focus more on some of the finer details like the climates and ecosystems and the environment rather than, rather than just where certain things are in the area. So if you go to Canvas, there is an assignment called South African Geography Reading. Uh, so today's assignment is going to be our precursor to uh, Tuesday and Wednesday's notes on South and East African geography. It's a small reading uh, talking about the types of animals that we find in there and some of the uh, various geographic features that we have in the area as well. So we're going to read through this reading. It's not super huge, so take your time. It's only one page, and then we are going to do the notes. So if you look at the notes, they have two different sections, or if you look at the worksheet, they have two different sections. One is about the vocabulary. In the reading, the vocabulary is uh, bold. It's the darker words, so things like Tropica Capricorn and Victoria Falls are, are um, our main vocabulary words for this reading. So what you need to do is write a definition or a description in a complete sentence in that middle box. So the middle box is going to be our definition or a description. And then we are going to do a memory clue. So it's very similar to what we do with the vocab map, but we don't have to look for a picture. And so uh, what you need to do is read the, uh, the, the page you're reading and then do use that to come up with the description or the definition and then your reminder word or some sort of memory word or synonym or something that you can use to easily remember things like the Tropic of Capricorn or Victoria Falls. Once you have done that, the second half is going to be more straightforward. Just answer the following questions after we read through the article. So the article it's uh, pretty straightforward, just talks about different parts of South Africa, things like the uh, Victoria Falls or the Kalahari Game Reserve. So we need to go through and answer these in complete sentences and then submit it. We're going to go over this on, uh, on Tuesday before we start doing notes. So. I want to make sure that you guys get this done so that we can get a grade in for the week before we have our test or our quiz. So I think it's pretty straightforward. With any extra time, what you need to do is check for any missing work. I put in all missing work for the, uh, for the class. So if there is something where it says, at least for this last chapter if there's something that says that you have it as missing uh, it's either because you turned it in late and I haven't graded it yet or uh, you haven't turned it in at all so if you don't have a grade for something double check that you get that thing submitted and then send me a message letting me know so that I can go in and I can update your grades because missing work is really going to hurt you and then 
with any extra time after that, you can study for the quiz. So if you look at the uh, module for South and East Africa, there is a section that says study skills. So map quiz study skills. If we look at this, it has two options. One is the Quizlet, which is just pictures of our um, pictures of our various countries and geographic features along with the definition or the term. And so you can use that to try and uh, remember where certain things are. You can either do the flashcards, learn, test, or matching. And then the second thing is countries practice. So uh, what we did on Friday was we had two separate maps and we had to match the name of a country with its location on the map. This one here is those two put together. So it's every country that is going to be on our map quiz. And so you can use this to try and test your knowledge and your memory of the countries on the map. And then you can use the other one for uh, geography. So the Quizlet has the geography, the countries practice only has the countries. So you can use either of those options as uh, study tools for the rest of the uh, of class. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow when we start doing our notes for section one of chapter two. Okay, bye. Have a nice day.